Sheeksters, hi YouTube. Hope you guys had an amazing week. And today's video is a long awaited, much requested video. And it is my how to pack video. So as I said, today's video is the much requested how to pack video and it's in collaboration with Fashion Nova. So the challenge was to go to Fashion Nova's site and pick pieces for a four to five night trip to somewhere warm like LA, warm and beachy like LA or Miami. Now if you haven't checked out my summer vacation lookbook, you should definitely check it out. I did get quite a few requests from that video to make this video. So I will be sort of going through my tips for packing while kind of unpacking this bag that I've packed right here. And of course, sharing with you details on the pieces that I picked up from Fashion Nova. So all these items were relatively new when I chose them. However, we all know how Fashion Nova goes. So their stuff sells out pretty quickly. So if there's anything that you see in this video that you like or that you want, links to everything will be in the description bar. So if you're interested and you're ready for my tips on how to pack, then keep on watching, okay? Now, before we get into them, I wanna share with you guys the first and number one thing you have to do before you even start packing, and that is to pick a palette. Now, the palette I chose for this was basically white with accents of black and, I guess, tan. So as you guys can see, I have my flats here. I have these espadrille sort of lace-up flats. I also have a hat. Now my tip for packing hats when you travel is to actually stuff them with your underwear or just things that are flexible that can go in but still help it hold its shape. Or you can wear it on your head on the flight and then you don't have to you know, worry about it getting smushed or getting bent out of shape in your luggage. So let's get into the main. So the first item here is going to be a fanny pack and it's actually from Fashion Nova. I got this in, I think it was one size and I'm wearing it on the very, very last, like all the way to the end for it to fit my waist. Now my measurements are down below. So if you're, you know, not sure if this will fit you, check the measurements down below because like I said, I'm wearing this all the way to the end. It can't go any further and this does not stretch. However, I really love it. It reminded me of Chanel. It's really, really pretty. Um, I love the tan and the cream and it has hints of millennial pink in it. It has gold, so it goes really well with my color palette of white, cream, and black. Okay. So my second tip is to pick your neutral. So after you pick your accent color, then you wanna pick your neutrals. Now for this trip, my main color is white, which is actually a neutral. Um, and then I picked neutrals that went with white and I went with black and cream because those two colors are super versatile and I knew they would go with everything in this bag. All right, so the first, the second item from Fashion Nova that I picked up is this gorgeous top like so. You guys can see how I styled it. So I styled it the first way with a denim skirt um, and I also paired it with these really cute polka dot sandals. I got this in a, let me see, I got this in a 3X guys and let me just tell you right now this was really really tight around my arms and I'm normally a 2X in Fashion Nova so I would say you should size up one size and if you have thicker arms you might have to size up two sizes but it's so cute it's made out of this like cotton eyelet detail it's cropped I was actually talking about this on Instagram it's perfect perfect like spring summer Miami you know, even Palm Springs, um, LA vibes. I just love it, okay? The next item that I also picked up from Fashion Nova for this trip is going to be this really cute t-shirt. It's called, <laughs> I hope I don't get demonetized. Okay, okay. It's called the Love My Nips Slip 
T. Okay, they have these in black, they have these in pink, and I think they might have them in another color. I love the way this shirt feels. It's so stretchy and lightweight and soft okay i love the pink it's fun and these are like hearts okay so they're not too raunchy um love 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 this i paired this with a bathing suit bottom i paired this with white jeans so absolutely love this item and i got this in a 2x and i would say that this is true to fashion nova size because i remember somebody got mad at me when i said something was true to size i'm talking about true to my size at fashion nova now the next tip I have is for you to pick your shoes. So you need to decide like, what's this trip gonna be like? Am I gonna be going out a lot at night? Do I wanna be comfortable? Am I gonna be doing a lot of walking? And then once you pick your shoes, then you, and you have your color palette, then you can start building outfits. Continuing on the next item is a pair of short shorts. Now, I didn't, I like, I knew these shorts were gonna be short, but I didn't know they were gonna be that short. So these are some, this is what I call the beach short, right? The only place you would catch me wearing these shorts is going to the beach or the pool. They're very, very short. They're like Daisy Dukes. I don't even think I wore shorts like this when I was a teenager. Uh, they have these distressing up and down here. They have button going up. What I love about this is the shape of these shorts. They're high-waisted. They can kind of bring you in a little bit. They're high in the back, okay? They cover most of your butt. It does come with real pockets in the front real pockets in the back, very much like the whole vintage style high waist short. Um, this is like the perfect Miami short, okay? Like if you're going to South Beach, these are the shorts for you, okay? These shorts right here. The first time I saw these shorts, when I pulled them out of the bag, I was like, is this, did they send me the wrong size? but I was pleasantly surprised when I put it on and it fit. And I'm gonna say I got these shorts in a 3X and these shorts fit like a glove. If I gain one more pound, <laughs> they may not fit. So I would definitely say size up one size, if not two sizes. But this is the kind of short where you don't wanna size up too much because it's made of more of like a stretchy fabric and when you size up too much with these types of with this type of fabric the um garment tends to lose its shape so i would definitely say um just bear that in mind again now continuing on with my accent my main color or my accent color i picked up this gorgeous this is like my favorite item if there was one item to purchase from this whole entire haul it would be this piece right here. I picked up this off the shoulder button down bodysuit. It's made out of a really, really soft material. I absolutely love it. And honestly, I could pretty much wear this shirt with everything. Okay, I mean everything, almost everything that I packed for this trip. I paired this with the um, denim skirt that you guys have already seen. And then I also could have paired it with my white jeans. Um, I got this in the 3X. I could have gotten this in a 1X. However, the buttons do gape. So it's not necessarily that it's tight because it's really not, but it's just the way it's constructed. So I also paired this shirt, the off the shoulder shirt, with these polka dot shorts. These shorts were in my last Fashion Nova haul. The colors are so complimentary and perfect. And again, the polka dot really fit in with my theme of black, white, and cream. So the next thing you want to do after you pick your shoes is of course to pick your bags and accessories. Again, you have to pick a bag that's gonna go with your color palette. I chose this bag because it was perfect for, you know, the theme and because I knew the color would go with white, black, and cream. So the next tip, of course, I wanna give when it comes to how to pack is, of course, how to fold and organize your pieces in order to maximize your space. Now, for tricky things like, for example, this wicker bag that I packed with me, okay, in order to prevent this thing from being damaged in transit, I stuffed it filled with my bathing suits. 
So that's what you want to do. You want to stuff stuff. You want to use every piece of available space. And you do that by one, rolling your clothes. And so I rolled my bathing suits and my tops and my skirt and everything else. And I put it in here and I put this in. So this was the first item, the most fragile item. And then in my other little corners that I had left, you know, I put my makeup bag on one side. You can roll your socks, you know, underwear, um, any of your little bits and bobs and stick them in all the little corners on the side of your bag like so. So the easiest and the last part, of course, after you've picked your color, your shoes, your bags, your accessories, is to try on all the outfits, take pictures of them so that when you're at your destination and you're getting ready maybe you're in a hurry you're not stressing out worried about oh what goes with what what accessory goes with what accessory and again if you stick with the color palette there really won't be any need to be worried because everything will kind of go with everything I always suggest that your airport outfit include all the pieces that you know are the heaviest. Long ago, you were able to travel with two bags and no restrictions. Now you can buy a ticket where all you're paying for is your seat. You are not allowed to bring in any bags, okay? So in order to save yourself from having to pay um, for excess luggage or heavy luggage or any of those issues, my number one tip is to, of course, wear your heaviest items on the plane. As you guys can see from the um, airplane outfit, I am wearing this really heavy, chunky black jacket, um, and I'm also wearing my sneakers. My suitcase was already full, so I didn't have any room for those sneakers. So you wanna wear your chunky pieces, your fragile pieces, and your heavy pieces on the plane. If you're wearing it, okay, they can't charge you for it. Have you guys seen that video where the woman was like, what, I have to pay for my luggage? And she literally wears her whole entire luggage. This is the last item that I, the airport item. And this is a sh uh, kind of like a shirt dress. It says queen on it. It's made um, out of this like regular t-shirt jersey um, fabric. But then this whole area is kind of like an applique this is done in sort of like a satin type fabric it also has like little bedazzles so it's very 3d it has this little piece that hanging out of it i love a piece like this because it's so versatile you can again wear it to travel get on the plane but you can also wear it you know once you get there throw off your sneakers throw on some flip flops grab your beach bag and you can off to the pool or off to the beach or you can just you know Throw on some flip flops and a cute little fanny pack or bag or whatever and just, you know, go out for drinks. And with the airport outfit, I also paired these sneakers. I've really been getting, the last year I've gotten so super into sneakers and now we have the whole dad sneaker trend. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like my feet are big. So first of all, that's a no. Um, but... I felt like this was a perfect hybrid because it's kind of chunky, but it's not too chunky. And I really love the detail. So this is all like a tweed fabric, just like the fanny pack. And it has all these colors in it. So you can style it with so many things. However, because it's basically cream, it works perfectly with the whole color scheme. So guys, these are my top tips on how to pack. Let us know in the comments down below all of you frequent flyers, what tips you can't live without on how to pack and how you pack. Of course, you know I'm not going anywhere. I will be in the comments down below. Let me know if you like the video and if you want more videos like this where I share tips with you guys. Um, if you like the video, share the video with a friend and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed site for 50 something dollars so for the fact that they have this for 20 something dollars um is a yes speaking of